We're continuing our look at some of the best products that we like for the late 2021 market. Make sure you check out our previous video and keep an eye out for the ones upcoming. In this one, we're gonna be looking at CPU coolers, a category of products that you can actually buy in the 2021 market, thankfully. Feels a bit crazy to say those words, but that's the reality we've lived through. Hopefully it'll change soon. But yes, CPU coolers, we've got budget, mid-range, high-end. Gonna look at three that we really liked throughout the year. So let's get right on into it. First up is a budget cooler that we reviewed back in August 2021 and were thoroughly impressed by. The Salentium PC Ferro 5 Dual is a 120mm class single tower CPU cooler that came in at about £30 when we reviewed it, but it's more like about £32 on the market now, so very affordable indeed. For that very affordable price, you get a pair of 120mm full black PWM fans, you get four copper heat pipes that transition through the moderately sized fin array to the heat pipe direct touch base. And there's some reasonable effort to actually make the unit look good with a top mounted black plastic shroud. There were a few areas that really did particularly impress us too. Even at this budget price point, Salentium PC designed the 120mm fans to operate at an impressive 300 to 1800 RPM speed range. Plus there's a semi-passive operational capability. When it came to actual performance, the full fan speed noise output was perfectly tolerable for daily usage, and the cooling performance on our Ryzen 9 5950X test chip was better than we expected. This cooler handled that chip in precision boost overdrive mode with 212 watts of power output while sticking to 90 degrees Celsius running temperature. That's a good result. So I think the overarching feeling for the Salantium PC Ferro 5 dual CPU cooler is one of value and punching well above its weight. This is one that we really liked and would happily recommend as a good budget CPU cooling option for a late 2021 build. For one of the mid-range CPU cooling options that we still like in late 2021, we jump back to a product that we reviewed back in 2019. That is none other than the legendary Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 240 all-in-one CPU cooler. Or should I probably say the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 240 family of CPU coolers given that they've now launched with an RGB and an ARGB version. So take your pick there, I guess. This 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler probably doesn't need much introduction at this point in time because it's realistically grown to a practically legendary status within the community. Sporting a 240 millimeter aluminum radiator and braided tubing, the Liquid Freezer 2 also utilizes a PWM controlled pump. The advantage here is that the pump speed can be modulated between 800 to 2000 RPM. And this clearly has the benefit of lowering noise output and probably enhancing pump lifespan also. Sat above the copper cold plate is a 40mm VRM fan. Once again controlled via PWM, this spinner operates at 1000 to 3000 RPM. So for users with less competent VRM cooling on their motherboard, that is going to be a bit of a blessing in disguise realistically. And then shifting air through the densely packed radiator is a pair of 120mm 200 to 1800 RPM fans. Once again, great speed range and great PWM control. And the reason that I keep mentioning PWM control is because all of this is managed, so the VRM fan, the pump unit, and the two cooling fans by a single four pin PWM cable. Absolutely fantastic for cable management and also very good if your motherboard just doesn't have many fan headers. Performance has been tested time and time again by various reviewers and end users. The overall performance balance is generally very good in most people's experience and perhaps more noteworthy is the noise balanced performance that you get from this cooler, particularly true with the excellent fan speed range of these units. At around £60 in the UK for the non-RGB version or around £15 to £20 more for the RGB or ARGB version, we feel that the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 240mm all-in-one liquid cooler is a fantastic mid-range option. When it comes to high-end cooling, we feel that 360mm all-in-one liquid coolers are where it's at currently. They're easier to use and deploy than custom liquid cooling, and they offer generally higher performance than even big air coolers, so we think they're a great option. For our pick of high-end CPU cooler of 2021 that we still really like, we have the Fractal Design Lumen S36 RGB. We reviewed this cooler back when it launched in August 2021 and a few key traits had us impressed. Firstly, the overall quality is typically fractal-esque. The whole package is well finished, the braided tubes look good and the pump block unit is sleek. Another point that we really appreciated was the ARGB configuration. 
Fractal gives the pump an ARGB capable cover, and this works very nicely indeed. In a world of LCD equipped all-in-one liquid coolers, perhaps this approach is a little bit less in your face, but it works well if you ask us. The orb-like styling of the pump cover synchronizes nicely with the lighting on the fans, and the Aspect 12 RGB PWM fans themselves offer good quality lighting that had us pleased with the brightness, color transitions, and overall smoothness. Plus, you don't get the potential downside of having to install potentially bloated RGB control software. Fractal's control through the motherboard worked really well for our use case. In terms of performance, where the Lumen S36 RGB did particularly well was noise balanced numbers. The overall cooling performance was more than adequate to handle our heftily overclocked Ryzen 9 5950X CPU. And when locked at 40 dBA, the thermal results were very competitive against more expensive Acer Tech contenders. Plus the fan speed range of 500 to 2000 RPM means that ample user control is available. It was refreshing to see a high performance, well-designed, smartly balanced cooler from Fractal that used an OEM other than Acer Tech. And this translates into very competitive pricing without really skimping on all-out performance. And when factoring in that very competitive pricing of around 105 to 113 pounds in the UK, we feel that the Fractal Lumen S36 RGB is a great choice for a high-end system. So there we have our pick of budget, mid-range and high-end CPU coolers that we like for the late 2021 market. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below, whether you agree with our picks or whether you'd put different coolers in this category. There's a massive selection, a massive variety in the CPU cooler market, so it would be interesting to hear your opinion. Thanks for watching this video. I've been Luke Hill for Kickeroo. Give us a like, subscribe, follow us on Discord, Patreon, all that other stuff. Check out the main Kit Guru written website. That really helps us out. And be sure to check out more of our best of videos upcoming. See you in those.